Marshmallow Fanboy back with another action figure review. This time for Marvel Legends series, Disney Plus's Miss Marvel. Part of the Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure wave. Looks really cool in the package. I don't think we get to see her in her costume until the very last episode. But completely worth the wait. It's very comic book reminiscent. It's it's super close to her comic book counterpart. I think it's closer than most. I mean, that, there are a lot of costumes that are that in, invoke the feeling that you have looking at the original in their costume. So they're they don't stray too far from from what they were wearing in comic books. But this one is really close. And of course it has the the Ultron body in there. Cuz uh, Miss Marvel is a smaller figure, so they stuck the body in with the smaller figures. There's really nice artwork on the sides, both sides. Of course the Miss Marvel logo on the top. And you know, nothing on the bottom. But on the back, you get a great picture of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. And a little chart of the Infinity Ultron. This is a really good... Cool, it was a really good series. I liked it as a... It was a really good origin series. It was a lot of fun to watch. And it has that little, you know, mutant detail at the end. That was pretty cool. And, you know, even her best friend... Seems like he's going to be somebody in the Marvel Universe. You know, I don't know who, but he seems like he's he's going to be around in other movies, maybe. So enough talk, man. Let's break this thing out and let's take a closer look. Okay, now that it's out of the package, let's take a closer look at Marvel Legends series, Miss Marvel. First, she comes with two fists and two open hands. So I put one of the... She comes with both hands open. So I put the fists in her hands. So those are cool. I am glad that they gave us options between the between the fists and the open hands. Mostly because the, the fists look like, you know, she's tensed up. And, and the unballed up fist hands more look more relaxed for relaxed photos so let's take a closer look at the deco yes i said deco it's really shiny blue paint throughout including on the mask which is very cool it's a really good likeness has the the uh the scarf pieces here dangling i don't know how they're connected they're underneath the head. I'm sure if you take the head off, those come off. You can you could take them off if you take the head off. I'm almost positive. I'm not going to do it, but yeah, the head goes all the way around. She gets a gets to look up a little bit, look down a lot of it, and let me see if she has anything in the middle. It feels like there's some. Oh, it's right under the rib cage. She has a she has a joint that can flex up, and it doesn't break the line that goes down. And let's see, but if you look, if she crunches down a little bit, it break. No, it doesn't break the line. Okay, as long as you do it, okay. And that's great. The skirt breaks up the the posability of the legs a little bit, but still a lot of flexibility there. But let's cover the arms first. Let's see, goes out to here. It's a good wingspan, nice bracelets, just like the just like the show. Really great texture in the arms. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can focus on that. Blink, blink. Nope. Thing won't focus. Let's see autofocus. See if I can manually focus. There we go. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool texture on that. Let me switch that back to auto. Okay. That was weird. I should have just let the camera do its thing. So, uh, no bicep swivel. She has a swivel in her elbow. It's not double elbows, just a single elbow. That's okay. The, the wrists turn, and then she has a hinge 
right there so she can she can pose like that then of course below her rib cage she can twist and she can bend so those are nice features uh, the legs have the ball joints and she has a thigh swivel and she has double knees so she can kick her own butt <laughs> And it's nice the texture on the legs is really nice. It's like the co it's like the costume texture everywhere else. It's really nice. And there's a little break where she has no socks and she's she's got bare ankles, which is a really nice touch. Uh, it breaks up the color, but it's also realistic to the character. And of course, tennis shoes, and it has a hinge, and it has a ball swivel, or not a ball swivel, but a but a pivot joint there you can bend that foot back and forth so miss marvel was a fun series i know it wasn't everybody's favorite and they didn't like the maybe the mutant twist on it and it did get a little busy at the end it did get a little like i need to go to to another country and her parents even though she was in trouble were like yeah let's do it <laughs> it's a little it was a little like, really? Everybody just kind of, she decides they go and they go? That was weird. But very cool. The Build-A-Figure Ultron piece is also super cool. Right now it's just all, you know, chest. And there's a place to put the arms under the shoulder blades. Which, you know, I'm hoping is easier than it looks to put in. Because right now it looks really, really difficult. It's got a little bit of a... Of a a joint underneath the rib cage here and it has a twist uh, right there but it's under the rib cage and not in the waist and then of course it's the same ball joint set up for the legs so as soon as I get everything I've got the two Hawkeye figures opened so I've got a leg and an arm that I can work on so I can put this together in the next couple reviews oh the blades stick up through the cape that's a nice touch i didn't notice that i didn't remember that in the series that's nice the blades stick up through the cape and yeah that's a really cool figure it's an infinity gauntlet ultron very cool so until next time enjoy your toys